posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Gemini, it's Purple Haze and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. I'm here to do a reading for you guys, a general reading, however the cards come to us, well to me, is how I will deliver it to you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, okay? I hope you guys enjoy this little new setup because I do. Now you can literally see everything that I want you to see. Okay, we're going to touch on um, for the beginning of July, okay? Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. For every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Geminis listening to this particular reading. And the cross watchers, we can't forget the nosy people, too. Okay. Okay. Hold on. You know what? I forgot my um, bracelet. But anyway, Gemini, let's get some good vibes today. Okay. Let's get some good vibes, some good news. Gemini, let's see what we got going on. The Ten of Wands, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, Ooh. I don't know why you're struggling with letting go of you have a lot on your shoulders a lot on your back gemini but for some reason you're struggling letting anything go it's like you have so many things lined up or you're dealing with so many people or trying to please um a lot of people some of you are people pleasers but at the same time you're not really doing anything about it as far as not any not removing any baggage that is left okay um let me see the king of wands and we have the three of swords yeah with the um the king of wands and the three of swords in reverse i guess you're afraid of admitting that you have a lot on your plate due to the fact that you don't want to feel alone or you don't want to be alone in the process you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings um but at the same time gemini it seems as if your feelings are hurt but let's see how these people feel about you okay we have the seven of swords Sometimes they feel like you do things that are out of, out of character. So if you tell them no, they think that it's quote unquote out of character for you. Look how these cards just fell out. It's quote unquote out of character for you or whatever. But in reality, you're just basically standing up for yourself and saying no. If y'all hear background noise, that those are my kids. But um, anyways, <laughs> the world card here in reverse. Um, it seems they it's like when you tell them no they accuse you of not keeping your word or not basically sticking to what you tell them it's crazy it's like they kind of flip it on you or they manipulate you okay you have the seven of cups and you have the four of wands in reverse um let's see and this person to to them that's why i said we sometimes people usually um care so much about pleasing others but in reality they don't they don't have that same energy for you you're just an option to them or you're just yeah you're just an option or an opportunity okay that's, that's how they see you and then the four of wands in reverse um they probably play tit for tat um often every time you tell them no they'll try to you know, tell you tell you no or basically get get back at you for saying no like this person is very spoiled and um once their way okay let's see the outcome of the situation let's see this what's the outcome of the situation we have the queen of swords in reverse definitely not happy that they're not getting their way but you don't want to settle you don't want to keep settling for things like you don't want to just say no because you feel obligated to you have the judgment card let's pull one from the bottom and eight of swords in reverse so all in all um i see that you're on the verge of making a decision on confronting them letting them know like hey you may not like like it but it is what it is these are the facts okay a lot of the thoughts that you had in your brain about this particular person you've been hope you've been biting your tongue a lot so now um you're in a state of mind of i need to just tell this person how i feel or what's on my mind to get it out the way which is pretty good i see that you're trying to approach the situation and resolve the situation on your end okay 
let's move on to the energy oracle cards just to get more clarity on this particular reading and to also see what else that you might have on your mind gemini so let's get some clarification that's really good oh man i dropped it hold on let me get that well yeah let's see what's really good with y'all oh come on okay i got it okay the fear card okay what are you afraid of, Gemini? What major step are you afraid of? Something tell me it's a major step to make. Um, you feel like once you change your energy, your aura, a lot of you are thinking about getting into spirituality and you feel like once you do that, you know that you're going to lose a lot of connection with other people. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to miss your calling. So either you're going to be... Um, experimenting with spirituality as far as you know um meditating more things like that or um you could just be going to a new path or some place where you're not usually it's like you want to just change your ways change your beliefs change your goals you want to change yourself um basically and you're afraid that people won't accept you for who you are but in reality it doesn't matter you just have to be you why live your life trying to please other people okay now let's do you and your person all signs so how this goes is we basically touch on whoever the person that you're dealing with or involved with um we're going to touch in how you touch on how you two feel about each other okay so let me show for these really really quick okay and we're going to start off with um gemini and gemini and work our way down so those of you who are dealing with a gemini like yourself okay okay gemini and gemini how do you two feel about one another come on we have the seven of wands and we have the four of swords so gemini you're dealing with another gemini who pretty much matches your energy um and at the same time when you guys don't match each other's energy when it comes to confrontation when it comes to disagreements you often avoid each other because you're used to having you know chill moments or having so much in common you don't really like to deal with the differences okay Ooh. okay what are we doing gemini and cancer how do you two feel about one another gemini and cancer oh, oh, almost dropped it we have the king of pentacles in reverse and we have the hanging man here in reverse so gemini you're dealing with the cancer who's stuck in a hard place or they have the you ever heard of the broke mentality what i mean by that is a person who just speaks into existence how they just never have any money or they don't have any money or they're always speaking the the um negative a lot okay that's what this particular cancer that you're dealing with is doing they're just stuck at pretty much what they can't do instead of um focusing more on what they can do okay gemini and leo how do you two feel about one another Gemini and Leo. Okay, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. Gemini, you're dealing with the Leo who is very stubborn but um independent as well. But when they the problem is when they need help, they don't really like to ask about it or they don't really like to allow anyone to help them in certain situations. You've been offering your help to this to this particular Leo in this situation, but they just don't want it. I don't want your assistance, child. Gemini and Virgo. How do you two feel about one another? Ooh, okay. Gemini and Virgo. You have the Ace of Swords and you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Gemini, I feel like you guys are going to be having a heart to heart. You want to approach your Virgo with a serious conversation and they have ego issues. So you feel like when you tell them something that might come off as criticism, I guess, to them, or they feel like you're being judgmental because they're used to being. I guess they're used to getting they're used to getting their asses kissed. So that's why it's hard for them to accept the truth sometimes. <laughs> Gemini and Libra. How do you two feel about one another? Gemini and Libra. Gemini and Libra. Oh come on. Y'all gonna do this? That car flew way over there, but this one stays. So four of pentacles. Gemini and Libra. Here we go. The two of pentacles in reverse. Gemini, you're Libra. Um, 
they're on the verge of doing better financially and as far as trying to keep if you guys are a couple they're trying their best to keep a quote-unquote happy home uh, you have the two of pentacles in reverse i feel like maybe you gave them an ultimatum and told them that if they don't get it together you're leaving and i feel like that's what they are on their way of doing gemini and scorpio how do you two feel about one another gemini and scorpio we have the full card and the five of swords gemini you're dealing with the scorpio um hmm. they get defensive when they're in tough situations or when they're in situations that they can't figure out they get real sensitive when they can't control the situation and that's where you guys kind of argue at or um debate about but at the same time you're trying to convince them to not take life so seriously gemini and sagittarius how do you two feel about one another gemini and sagittarius oh we got two we have the eight of pentacles in reverse and we have the nine of cups i feel like there's like um someone here who lacks effort gemini you're dealing with the sagittarius who may lack lack effort or vice versa um but at the same time you feel like this person has potential you're either you love this person a lot or they love you a lot but at the same time it's their lack of effort their um lack of work ethic that's keeping you two from progressing so someone's lack of work is what's putting everything on hold gemini and uh capricorn gemini and, oops, hold on wait a minute now okay gemini and capricorn they spray all on my hands Gemini and Capricorn, how do you two feel about one another? Okay, well, we got Eight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Three of Swords. So, Gemini, you're dealing with the Capricorn, who's very much a hard worker, for sure. Um, well, at least you two work hard together. Um, but with the Queen of Pentacles here, though, it seems as if... Um, hmm. I feel like there's someone here who claims that they're always working or working a lot but there's not really any results like i feel like you two work so hard but you don't get as much of the results as it should be like the money is not equaling the the hard work and you have the three of swords here that could be a potential third party situation as well so be careful with that uh and make sure that this person is actually working gemini and aquarius i'm just saying gemini and aquarius how do you two feel about one another Ooh. okay running from me gemini and aquarius you have the ace of cups in reverse you have the page of wands in reverse and you have the will of fortune in reverse so a lot of immaturity between between you two um but i feel like it's not necessarily immaturity it's more of like lack of of um growth out of fear this person runs from love i don't know if it's you're running from love gemini or the, or the aquarius but someone here tends to flee from love or they flee when things get serious due to some past trauma you have the page of wands here it seems as if they're very they used to be very passionate but something it was an experience that was really heavy on them to the point where now they just run from anything that involves them anything that involves commitment and then you have the will of fortune here in reverse um it tends to get a, get in the way of a potential relationship or a potential situationship. <laughs> it gets in the way because of the fact that this person tends to just run. They flee. She's a runner. She's a dresser. Okay, Gemini and Pisces. How do you two feel about one another? Gemini and Pisces. Okay. Let's see. Gemini and Pisces. Okay. Keep it simple. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Gemini, you're dealing with the Pisces who's very independent but doesn't want your help, I see. Due to the fact that um when they when Pisces um tend to go through their emotions, with your particular Pisces, when they're going through things right now and they often allow their emotions to get in the way and usually they tend to flee. They don't want anyone to help. They don't want anyone getting too close, okay? Out of fear of abandonment. Gemini and Aries, how do you two feel about one another? Gemini and Aries, you have the page of swords here in reverse. Gemini, you're dealing with an Aries who often gets in their own way. Um, they have a hard time learning the lesson the first time. Your, your Aries tends to repeat some certain mistakes. Like, they don't sen seem to learn from their mistakes. Okay, Gemini and Taurus, the last one. Gemini and Taurus. We have the Eight of Swords here in reverse. Um, Gemini and Taurus, 
you're dealing with the Taurus that um there were a lot of things that were left unsaid. A lot of things were uh, someone here had bit their tongue. Um, Gemini, it could be you who had bit your tongue when it comes to, comes to this particular Taurus. But I feel like all of that is going to be released, uh, hopefully in the best way and not the angry way. But I feel like everything that was once hidden is going to be revealed. It's going to come out. The communication is going to start, like, here, okay? Okay, that's what I have for you guys, Gemini. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to pull one final card, okay? One final card for a collective message, Okay. Let's see, we have the enchantment card here in reverse. So for those of you real quick, Gemini, who are struggling with um, being content with their decisions, and because uh, you got this card, again, I see. But basically, Gemini, for those of you who struggle with being themselves or who, who struggle with um, being honest, there's someone here who can't take your honesty or who can't take your true self. So because of that, you often like try to um bite your tongue or you try to spare other people's feelings i would just say to those of you gemini who basically have to walk on eggshells and you feel like you're not happy because you can't be yourself try to surround people who understand you surround yourself with people who can take your honesty instead of just trying to please and spare other people's emotions around you because it's not good to keep so much bottled up eventually it'll get released and it may get released in an explosive way and you don't want that okay Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye. I'm in a place of and pure and free.